Welcome my friends to Designer Weapons. This is an amazing video that is going to show you multiple resources that you can employ right away as a designer. So I'm going to start with this website called learnlayout.com. So what is it? If you want to get started into CSS learning, all you have to go is go through these short tutorials. They are going to give you the basic concepts of CSS. For example, the display property, they are going to explain you how to use it. They are going to explain you with examples and practical uh, references. So this is learnlayout.com, one of my favorite designer weapons. Now, I'm going to also show you another designer weapon here. If you are into of course into uh, mobile development you want to check this website called developerapple.com what this uh, page has is basically the official documentation site for style and also is going to give you some downloadables you can download mockups for sketch for photoshop and adobe xd all these pre-made components are available to download so these are basically a human interface guidelines for design uh, and developing Mac. Now another designer designer weapon that I want to show you is Visor.io. What you can do with Visor is essentially build 3D immersive virtual reality experiences you have a visual editor and all you have to do here is create a new project and start playing around you can bring in files and you can basically start creating some interesting things in here let me move into another designer weapon so that was visor dio now if you're into virtual reality as well a great designer weapon that you can start using is a frame so i would like you to watch the conferences in a uh, way in a frame so you know what's going on with this uh with this technology so this is the developer guy i think he goes through a presentation and he shows how how it how it works Now, 3D objects for a SketchUp. I don't know if you are into building, into building uh, things in, in, in VR, but if you want to do it, you need to start getting uh, 3D models. And 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com has all those models that you can use right away for your project. Now, 3D objects, another place to find them is poly.google.com. You probably haven't heard about this, but what you can do is find these amazing models. You can download them in OBG uh, format, and you can also, as you download the OBG. you're going to have access to uh, materials, which is basically a texture and the model. So then you can use these couple of files in a design framework, in a, in a VR design framework, such as A-Frame, and uh, work from there. So this is poly.google.com. Another design weapon that I want to show you, a part of... Uh, 3D warehouse and poly is the brutalist framework which apparently it looks cheesy it looks uh, pretty basic but this is uh, essentially like a, a, a funny rebel way to show how design was uh, or should not have been uh, since since the beginning so this sort of high contrasty anti design trend is going to hit hard in 2018 
Behance.net showcase and discover your creative work. So in this website, what you can do is simply find other people, uh, other people's portfolios, take a look at their work, appreciate their their work, give them an appreciation. Okay, um, basically uh, get inspired by a community of uh, designers who are very active, uh, especially graphic designers, very active on these communities. Okay. In designer weapons, I'm going to show you another one, which is carbonbeauty.com. And this is simply an inspirational website using the brutalist style. As you scroll down, you see all these images in masonry style, covering the full real estate of your screen. Another design weapon that you can use is called hypothesis.is. If you are a developer, this is a great tool in which you can take a look of how annotation works in interface. Hypothesis.is. Now one of my favorite A-frame design for VR using HTML. This is a fantastic framework. You're going to have multiple examples. A-frame.io is the official documentation site. Site. You can play around. It is amazing. You can go to a visual inspector. You can see how it is. You can see how the entities are compounding the zine. So this is uh, a frame. Now, I'm going to skip few. I'm going to show you the last one. Unsplash.com. If you're into uh, photos, if you really want to have a bunch of uh, pictures uh, free to use commercially, then you want to go to unsplash.com. You get amazing, amazing photos right here. You can use them for free. Amazing landscape backgrounds another great design weapon so just to wrap it up designer weapons is a course it's a course that is going to show you a glimpse of the best of the best of the resources for designers and developers you can find. Designer weapons. This is David bringing this program to you. I'm going to give you this list. I'm going to attach it on this video. But not before showing you the best designer weapon ever. And that best designer weapon ever, ever is called anorexic layouts. So when I talk about designer weapons are resources that you can use to make your projects happen faster, better, and improve your quality. Anorexic layouts is a collection of templates you can download right away. You can use them, you can uh, customize them, and I would recommend you to use Pingendo, which is one of the designer weapons that I always talk about. Use Pingendo to edit the templates and put together pages amazingly, super easy using anorexic layouts. Now, something else that you might want to use that I want to recommend you and I'm going to leave you a link is Quotex. If you don't know how to estimate projects, if you don't know how to make invoices, don't worry about it. Download 31 quotation templates for design and development. Let me see if I find an example of Quotex right here. Uh, uh, 
Quotex. There you go. So basically, essentially, examples of uh, templates that you have. Uh, so you can just invoice uh, your clients and they pay you. Uh, so this is David presenting you all these designer weapons. If you are a designer, if you are a developer, you can always take amazing advantage of designer weapons. So let me just recap what we saw here. We were talking about um, quotations. Okay. We were talking about free photography. We were talking about virtual reality tools that we can use. We can. We we're talking about annotation tools for design. We talk about referential material such as carbonbeauty.com. We talk about be, uh, behance.net, uh, basically where you can showcase your work and upload your files. We talk about BFX, brutal effects. <laughs> this is a sort of a joke, but anyway, it's part of your arsenal of tools in design. We talk about poly.google.com, another tool for you to use. And the 3D warehouse of sketchup.com where you can find 3D models. Speaking of which, we also mention advisor.io where you can get amazing things. Then we talk about human interface guidelines and resources uh, by Apple and how you can find uh, these uh, toolkits to start working right away designing. CSS layout and I hope you enjoy designer weapons, tools and references for web UX projects, a training course giving you a glimpse and a tour and a, a mini course as well because I'm just giving you these bytes of information so you enjoy designer weapons there are more weapons to show you and I want to do it so that will be subject of another video thank you very much